Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we're here to talk about the screenshots that have been revealed over the past few days by Frontier Development and, and Planet Zoo. But quickly, before we jump into it, let us thank our very first fantastic sponsor of the channel, Instant Gaming. At Instant Gaming, you can get your most favorite games with up to 70, sometimes even 90% discount. If you use the link in the description down below, you will get an amazing discount and you will also be supporting in the channel. So whether you're looking for a discount on Planet Zoo, The Sims, City Skylines, Jurassic World Evolution, or any other game, go and check out the link down in the description. And this first one is just melting my heart already. Just look at these cute meerkat babies. Oh my goodness, aren't they the freaking cutest? They look so beautiful. And this, this fur and that pattern looks amazing. Actually, now that I think of it, I see some grass right over here that looks like new grass. This is not the elephant grass. This definitely looks looks like a new grass thing. Uh, push elephant, <laughs> I don't know what to call it. But that looks really, really neat as well, by the way. I'm not really sure if this is a new palm tree, uh, but this is looking really beautiful. We can tell, by the way, that this uh, this looks like some kind of new path texture and also a new picnic bench, I think, and the canopies that we saw in the uh, in the trailer. This is looking really beautiful, very promising. I really, really love these baby meerkats. They look absolutely amazing. Oh, man, I can't wait to get my hands on these guys. This is looking awesome. Uh, what they said with the Twitter post was meerkat packs have sentries that give different alarm calls to warn their pack mates of different predators. So that is probably an animal fact that we're going to see in the Zoopedia of the game. So let's go to the next screenshot. The next screenshot is obviously this cute little Fennec Fox. Just look at this everything, just at the eyes, the ears. The little nose, a little snout. This is looking absolutely adorable. And look how fluffy and furry it is. This is so adorable. Man, I can't wait to get my hands on these guys. They look so cute. Really, really well made. Not really sure if this is the same grass that we just saw. This looks longer. I'm not really sure what this is, actually. Could this be just a normal reed or anything? I'm really not sure. It's so, uh, so blurry that I really cannot tell what this is. Other than that, we cannot really say anything about the background here because there's just nothing else. But man, they did such a great job on this Fennec Fox. It looks so adorable. And what they said on the uh, Twitter post was that the Fennec Fox has very large ears that dissipate heat and are able to hear prey underground. Ooh, that's very interesting. They can hear prey on their ground, so they can put their ears on the ground and they can hear if there is a prey. That is what I'm guessing. But, oh man, these really look absolutely amazing. I can't wait again to get my hands on these guys. And the next screenshot is the scarab beetle. The scarab beetle can roll balls of dung that are 50 times their weight. Why would you want to do that, Beetle? I don't know, <laughs> but look how cool this is looking. This is looking absolutely fantastic, though. I'm really curious how much of an animation we will actually see in the exhibits. Like, we all know that exhibits do not have that many animations in it. Uh, we did have the Diamondback Turtle, I think it was, that had a little swimming animation on its spot, so I can totally see something like that as well with this exhibit animal with this beetle. It looks really cool though, it looks fantastic and the beetle itself looks amazing. Well, <laughs> it's a really funny and great screenshot. I really do love it that they add this uh, exhibit animal in the game. Even though I still, if you, if you would ask me if I had to pick between a habitat animal and an exhibit animal, I would definitely pick for a habitat animal, but that's not going to happen. And they didn't ask me anything, unfortunately, but Okay, we're getting this beetle and it looks really cool. So I think many people are really excited about this one and that it's coming to the Africa pack as well. 
And this is the last screenshot that they just revealed today. Well, not the last one. Tomorrow so it will be a white rhino. But now is the African penguin. And just look at these guys. They look amazing. Oh my freaking gosh. They look so good. Just look at the textures right over here and their drawings. Oh, this is beautiful. And this chick is looking so adorable. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. Obviously, they will be deep swimming, so I'm very, very excited for that. These look like new rocks or something. Uh, no. Am I? This probably is a Tega rock or something, but like the white color, it almost looks like you have like this uh, area where the penguins live and that you have like a lot of poop on them, but I don't think that is the case here. I, th I think it's just a Tega rock, but I could be completely wrong. Man, they look absolutely amazing. Other than that, I do not see anything new in their habitat. These just look like normal rocks. This look like elephant grass. Other than the picture that we just saw, that's definitely different grass. This, this is elephant grass. And this is also something that we have. These are support from a path. My goodness, they did a fantastic job. I really can't wait to see these guys in game and to see them walking around and swimming around, especially. That is going to be super amazing. I think they did a really great job on these African penguins as well. Obviously, let me know what you guys think of all the screenshots that we have seen so far. How excited are you? What animal are you mostly excited about? Obviously, if you wanna grab this DLC coming week or any other Planet Zoo DLCs or the base game itself, definitely go and check out Instant Gaming. The link is down in the description below and make sure to enter that giveaway. And if you wait a few days, you can also try to enter the giveaway, of course, for the Africa pack, because I'm pretty sure that the Africa pack will also be available on Instant Gaming with a nice discount. So definitely keep an eye out on Instant Gaming. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do hope that you guys enjoyed. Leave a like at the video if you guys did and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And if you want to see more Planet Zoo content, I definitely have you covered. Thank you guys so much for watching and I really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye guys.